Right guys, we have yet another report regarding the 48 megapixel sensor on the back of the iPhone 14 Pro series. And so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so this tidbit comes from Trendforce, a pretty credible source. And so yes, I do think this information is legit. So what exactly does Trendforce tell us? Well, much like Minchi Kuo and other sources, they also believe we're going to see a new 48 megapixel sensor on the back of the iPhone 14 Pro series. And this move is going to bring down the market share of devices with 12 megapixel primary cameras down to 15%. And yeah, I do think that makes sense since, of course, so many Android phones have a way higher megapixel count. And to be honest, in the premium segment, only the iPhones still use a primary 12 megapixel megapixel sensor on the back. Now why are we seeing this megapixel increase? Well of course this allows for 8K video on the iPhone. Now yes I know that 8K is a pretty niche feature but do remember that of course with ProRes Apple's iPhone video is incredible and so for many pros who rely on these iPhone cameras having the additional resolution to work with might be appreciated. Since I know many pros do downscale 8K content, since it gives them way more detail to work with than regular 4K videos, so I can see this being a massive upgrade for the pros. And yes, I know some of you guys might be wondering that with the higher megapixel count, there's going to be smaller pixels, and so as a result, less light's going to be captured by the sensor, which ruins the low light capabilities of the iPhone. Well, that's where pixel binning comes in because this tech allows these smaller pixels to merge data and of course create a much larger pixel that could be used for low light conditions. And so yes, when the iPhone's in great conditions, it switches to 48 megapixels, but of course when it's in low light conditions, it switches to 12 megapixels. So yeah, there's practically no cons going to a higher megapixel count for the iPhone and I'm very much excited to see the camera improvements the new hardware and the new software is going to bring. I mean, do remember this will be the first megapixel increase since the iPhone's success. So yes, it's about time Apple does increase the megapixel count. But of course, do remember this only applies to the pros. The regular models are basically going to stick to the cameras they have right now. They might see some of the ultra-wide improvements we saw on the 13 Pros. But yeah, don't expect any major camera improvements with the regular 14s. Anyways guys, tell me if you're excited for these camera upgrades coming to the iPhone 14 Pro series in the comments below. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPad Air 5. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.